Everyone wanted to know what our pets do left home alone. Let's check. Here we see Husky, who got the new task, to ruin the owner's place. Once the task was finished, the player got the points. If the task failed, he would not receive new messages within 24 hours. Damn it, he exclaimed. What kind of task was that, he interested. How could he mess up someone's place like a lousy dog? It was boring for him. As it appeared, the animals complete the missions, so expectable development of the actions, people suspected animals in it. The system asked if the player took that task or not. If he didn't, the system would be shut down forever. He barked about taking it. The task was taken. He had to begin. The player would have ten minutes to finish the task. He would do everything he had to in order to become a human again. So, our pets had been people before becoming animals. Okay, we got it. He started from the pillows. He was bidding them so many times. The feathers were scattered to the different sides. That was odd for him. He was feeling excited like a real crazy dog. He shuddered his head, thinking no, 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 remembering to himself that he was a human. He shouldn't be enjoying that like a lousy husky. There was Screech. He was tearing everything he saw on his way. On the picture, he was holding the bra in his teeth. The task was completed, the system addressed to Husky. Admitting he was rewarded with points and gift for newcomers, he was exhausted. He never knew messing up one's place could be so tiring. Suddenly, the door opened and someone figured out that she was home. She came in broadcasting herself, intending to give the viewers a home tour, but started from the story that her best friend gave her husky, called Momo. It was the best dog ever. She added that he never messed with her things. The dog was worried that someone's coming and she's doing live streaming. That was his owner. She was going see who that was. While broadcast, the dog came to her, dressed in a variety of clothes. She was shocked. The chat had so many messages, they were laughing, making the jokes about Husky. All of a sudden, the live streaming interrupted. However, two minutes later the girl called to someone, with the name Lucia, telling that the dog gave her ruined her place and tore her clothes, she didn't want to keep it anymore. However, she decided to tidy up the room and went shopping, he was acting cutesy in front of her. Though she was just an internet influence who made money by live streaming, she still had to flatter her, if she got thrown out she would become homeless. He approached to her, taking her bra, and went to the trash can. She stopped him, holding his collar. He was surprised, but obeyed. She called him Dirty Dog, asking if he thought he could get away with that. He turned his head to her, interesting who was she, and started howling to the whole city. She hugged him, saying that was right, that was the little rascal, bad dog. He was going to apologize to her in front of everyone. He decided to obey, being fascinated why didn't she tell them how she punished him before the apology. Momo rolled his eyes like a human. Even the chat noticed that. There came a new task, to help his owner become a top internet influencer. It was a long-term mission. He took it. She had a phone call. It was Lucia, asking when they would meet. She was coming to meet at the gate. Husky surprised if they would do the live streaming outside. It was a great chance to get more fans. She was going with her. He grabbed her foot with paws. She just fell on the floor. Her phone was on the verge to be broken. Bad dog, she admitted. What do you want? Are you asking me to take you with me? She interested. Yeah, the dog wanted it. She hit the bull's eye. They were having a stroll in the street. She was with her phone, speaking with her audience. The god was happy to be with the owner, and had the interest what the meeting she would have. The dog was thinking about he was the champion but at that minute he was just a pet dog. He bet he was the one and only person that had that adventure. Suddenly, they met Zoe The girl asked what was he doing there. He was just walking his dog. That Tibetan mastiff looked great. Maybe they could watch a dog fight some time later, he offered her. Dog wasn't happy to hear such a suggestion. And straight relieving her stress on Momo. Barking so loud, calling him a stupid husky. He was surprised. However left flat face, admitting that as a crappy dog, he was quite cocky. Momo called the Siddham to open the gift. The gift opened. The ultimate deterrent of the king of dogs was only applicable to dogs. The bigger the spiritual power gap was, the more discernible the effects were. The girl obviously refused. She was not interested in dog fights. She needed to go and meet someone. She said him goodbye. He was furious. His offer was refused. He dragged his dog to him closer. However, he became into the bear, to say so and started attacking the girl. She screamed to Zoe Lei to watch his dog. He pronounced, devil, behave, but thought inside, go, bite that husky. 
Momo used his ultimate deterrent of the king of dogs. He turned into the beast. However then they were standing silently. Husky surprised did the sitem fail, because nothing had changed. He had been fooled. The dog started to scare him. He called to his owner as a boss, emphasizing he was so wrong, he grabbed the boy's foot, sobbing. It turned out that it was just too scary to react. He fell on the ground to the Momo's foot calling him boss, explaining that he didn't mean to offend him. His master ordered him to bite Momo. Husky asked why did he ordered him to bite him. He, crying, started to tell everything, that his master had been at home, watching him and his master via a shining cube. He got angry, proclaiming Momo hideous dog. The boy was mad when he saw him holding baby Ying's underwear in the mouth so he told him to teach him a good lesson. He also said he was gonna kill him and eat him. Momo interested what was the shining cube. It must be a cell phone. That man had been watching Ying's live streaming. He hated him just for a stupid reason. It was enough that he let his dog bite Momo. How could he ever thought of eating me? Husky interested. Momo was going give her a chance to make up for his wrongdoing. The pets were communicating together. Like sharing the secrets. Or making some plan. Yeah, it was their plan. The boy's dog started barking at him. Then put off his pants. The boy was screaming him to stop. Calling devil a crazy dog. Was he insane? That was his question. People in the street and the online viewers were laughing so loud. Because of the happening. The girl and Momo were going home being disappointed. The number of followers was gaining every minute. The girl was waiting for Lucia. They were supposed to meet and go shopping with her. They met each other. Another girl had so beautiful appearance and dressed, as though, in Sunday's dress. Lou asked why she brought Momo out. It was Momo's former owner. She thought the girl was mad at him. She explained they insisted in coming with her. He seemed poor so she took him out. Then she made her mind to go shopping. She would continue live streaming outdoors. She addressed to the viewers, calling them precious babies. The goddess they were looking forward to seeing had come. Say hi to her, she told. And they said her hi so obediently. Momo called to the Siddham to connect to the interner and get in the chat room. The system asked him to help Lian get more fans. That was exactly what he was good at. What should he do? He said questionly to talk about gossip or spill out some juicy affairs. Someone's fallen into water. There were the shrieks to help. Momo heard it and there appeared the task to save the drowning kid. People were waving hands to call someone to help. For Momo the tasks were not important at that time. The kid's life came first. His owner was screaming to him that he was stupid. What wrong with him? Stop running, she said. Her friend offered to get him back. She asked if she really didn't want him to go missing. The system addressed to the player, with a question if he took that task or not. There came the warning if the drowning kid died. The task was seen as a failure. He knew one thing that he would take it. Crappy system. Shut your mouth, he commanded. He couldn't hear that kid. Momo was keeping on running. The girl was in water. People were looking at her. No one was ready to try to help. Husky found the kid. However, the owner was repeating he was a bad dog. Where had he gone? Why are there so many people? They wanted to know what was going on. Then she noticed the drowning girl. We must save her. She intended to jump into the water. But her friend exclaimed her to hold on. She asked to let go of her. The girl stopped her because she didn't know how to swim. Calm down. Popo must have called the police, she told. In the chat people became more active. However people, like the stupid creatures, didn't know what to do. They were busy with their own business. Suddenly, there were the sounds of steps. Momo was coming. He jumped so high, flying over the crowd of those coward creatures. They were looking at him, with the open mouths. He jumped into the water. The girl was screaming but so weak, she had lost her strength. Audience was shocked, the dog, not like people, was so brave to rescue the kid. Momo, the owner screamed, being stubbed, she was worried about her pet. Her friend was thinking did he come there because he knew someone's drowning and wanted to save lives. Where are you? Momo barked, he lost her from the eyesight. He dived into the water, he was feeling it with his heart. However he was alone amidst all that liquid. Suddenly, he noticed the point, waving the hands and rushed there. Damn, he came into the swirl. The passers-by were looking for the girl and the dog, but didn't see anyone there. Lu Shi, the girl addressed to the girl. Why hadn't the bad dog emerged yet? It was almost one minute. Had friend advised not to panic. Perhaps it would soon show up. Yeah, finally it was success. In the city, where there is a lot of people, no one was ready to help to save the kid's life. So disappointing. They were over there. The dog saved the little girl. Momo was a real hero. 
he laid on the ground, breathing so hard. The owner was frightened what was with her dog. She hoped he wouldn't intend to die. When he regained his consciousness, he had the only question if he was on the shore at that time. Momo, the girl owner exclaimed, he had the view on her pomp bust. She thanked God that he was fine, sitting on the ground, crying and hugging. It felt so nice to be hugged by a soft, beautiful girl who also smelled great. The dog was lucky enough not to die in the river. Otherwise, he wouldn't be enjoying that sweet hug. Otherwise, ten minutes ago he was on the verge to drow with that kid, he commanded to the system to inject the strengthening potion into him. The order was confirmed. He was swishing his paws into the water. His eyes became narrow. He was full of readiness. He felt power in his body. He was as though enveloped into the blue light. That was the influence of magic. The power is coming. That feeling, system, he addressed with a request. What kind of strengthening potion was that? It was made by inner energy and soy, not magic, as we all thought. A great recipe for making farts, Momo understood. He had some time even to think positively. Then, he gained the speed, asking a system if it was kidding. He was approaching the child closer and closer, but it was going deeper and deeper. But now he is sitting near his owner, who loves him and is proud of him. The boy, who was her acquaintance, addressed to Liang, but suddenly paused. Momo was aside with the thoughts he almost gave out his secret. Then he added the offer to let people see Li Ying and Momo on live. The chat was so active, they were glad that the dog acted so brave. With a reasonable mind, however, the ambulance came so rapidly, the workers asked the crowd to give them some space to provide the check out of the kid. The number of followers was increasing, and the player, namely, Momo had finished the sidetrack task and was rewarded with 5,000 points. Then they calmed down and went home so calm, without understanding what just had happened. Being at home, Momo made the bath for himself. He was relaxing with a glass of wine, the duck and the cigar in his teeth. The girl entered the bathroom and got angry. She commanded him to get out. He had spent so much time in the bath. A beautiful girl helped wipe his wet body. He interested what was not to like a dog. Then he added that being a dog was also great. He thought over whether to give up his dream of becoming a human again. She patted him on the head and then realized that no, he wanted to become a human. Then someone called Ing, asking if she had finished washing Momo. It was time for dinner. Momo came the first and climbed a chair. She told him off, that his food was in the bowl on the floor. He turned his head of her and exclaimed not to think about it. Calling her a lady, he added he was a human. He deserved to eat by the table. Momo, the friend of Ing pronounced, there was the meat for him. It was a reward for his brave act that day. It had a delicious smell. He always became crazy when seeing meat. It tasted amazing, Momo admitted, and interested if that dog had no dignity at all according to the girl's opinion or not, she just kept silent. The system sent a message with the congratulations on realizing his potential. Being humiliated and not feeling ashamed at all, he was rewarded with 1,000 points. Momo shrieked to it to go to hell, and named that a stupid system. Then the friend of her was going home. They said goodbye to each other, and Ng wished her a safe trip home. The girl was about to start live-streaming again, then directed to Momo, recommending him to play with himself and not to mess up the place. He started whining. He sat on the sofa like the king and told he wanted to get on the internet, then got the answer that to connect the internet when not carrying out a task would cost him ten points per hour, then interested if he was sure to go on, he said it was a piece of cake for him. He chose his previous identity as a human, referring to the system, he requested how many points was it going cost if he wanted to create an authentic identity. Momo wanted one that could survive any sort of examination. That was a reasonable price of 100 points. Then he decided to create an identity for him. The information would be the same as that he had in the previous life. The order was confirmed. The dog was going to have an identity. When he went back to his human form, however, the girl felt something wrong. She voiced over the question what was happening. She was sitting at the computer table, with a blue screen on it. She, obviously, had some problems. Momo was trying to hear the situation, her words and reactions. What was that? What the hell was that? Momo interested. Her computer had been locked by them, and the threatening. If she wanted to unlock it, she had to transfer $3,000 to them according to the instruction on the left. Otherwise, they would delete all the information on her computer. Momo shrieked. Damn it, that had been a crucial moment. The target was confirmed. Momo wanted to see how good they were. 
Someone in the dark clothes was fascinated in it. What was there? What was the situation in general? He saw the dog, dressed in a superman, who threatened him to slay. Ha ha, so funny picture. However, Momo was so strongly intended. However, the power was used by the man at first. Momo was over him, protecting himself. He made so big protective hole, being happy he beat that deal. He was higher the roof of the nine levels building. One moment, and the scary sound of body which fell on the ground, performed. Momo approached to the edge of the house. Phew, he pronounced, he had the outlook on the city. Everything felt like nothing had happened before. Like all things were not so vital, he had the calmness in his soul. It was done, wasn't it? He asked himself. The dog was keeping a watchful eye on the burst of the dust somewhere down. There appeared the alert, telling ahead of the player there was a high energy activity. There was a lot of sounds and suddenly there appeared the silhouette of that man. He pointed his finger to him, telling that he didn't know who he was. But in that world of internet data, he made a pause. Their hacker's alliance was omnipotent. The system interrupted those events, warning Momo that his database had been damaged, recovery in process, ten points deducted. Damn it, that guy's much stronger than the previous rivals. It was time to end that game. He started to threat him to go to hell. Multi-threading information flow attack he shouted. It was so disappointing for Momo. Emergent firewall, build up now, that was the command to the magic. There turned the absolute protection shield. Boom, the burst performed. Master Han had come, three people in weird masks proclaimed. With the addition concerning those stupid viruses, they were doomed, they declared. Someone on the background said a question if she was there to rescue them. Did she just save my life? They interested. And really, she was the best fighter in the Honkers Association. Interative algorithms go, data disturbance flow, go. It was some kind of competition of the powers. The silhouette declared that the girl couldn't stop him. He, who got the data ruled the world, he was gonna establish new world order. Program interface clearing data, he cried. There performed the burst of the light. What was that? It radiated so strong. And those guys FWLT its influence. What attack was that? It was overwhelming. Momo exclaimed. The person in the dark turned back and went away, leaving the deadless bodies behind. The dog asked the system whether was there any way to strengthen his power. The answer was yes, each hundred percent extra power he gained. He would need to pay one hundred points. Momo decided to do it, to strengthen his power for sure, and there started its process. Three hundred percent strengthening. Oh, there was one left, the man in the dark pronounced, hinting on the dog. Take my heat, Momo exclaimed. Get Li Ying's data back. There started the resistance of two powers. Momo came closer to the man and made him a punch with the fire. There was a complete mess. The environment just covered with the heat. That was, he paused. When was his power strengthened? How did he do it? That was the actual question at that moment. However, he was still too weak. Momo was si furious. There was completed the strengthening to five hundred percents. He started to fight as though, with the shadow, the dark creature was ricocheted far away. His energy level was going up non-stop at that rate. He made a supposition. Kiss my foot, Momo shouted. There was some sound of cracking. However, obviously, the Momo's power was stronger than those all-dark natures. There performed the clang. He took the saber of. There was strengthening one thousand percents. He intended to perform the last strike. He became, as though, insane. He was soaring over the city enjoying and feeling the power in his veins. How could it be possible? The task was completed. The player was rewarded with 10,000 points. The task ended. 30 seconds later, the player would be taken out of the virtual world. It was so much fun. Goff knew when he would have another chance to play such an exciting game again. Suddenly, with the help of his intuition, he felt someone behind his back. The consciousness being separated, reality mode switched, the data universe being switched to the surveillance image. Momo thought all the honkers were defeated. He interested how came there was one left. Master Han lost to the viruses but she didn't disappear. She was tracking his location. The girl asked would she find her and her secrets out. Spoiler. No. The system used fake information in the fight. Momo wasn't to see the face of that top honker. System located there. It would cost him two points to hack into her system. The order was confirmed. The loading ended, at 8 p.m. in the city. The moon was too light. It was like the sun, illuminating the vicinity. The girl was sitting at the table, tapping. She was sitting in the Honkers Association chat group. There was the flower, who was her companion. 
He asked had she figured out who that great master was. She responded that she was tracking his location. He hadn't found her out. The girl was surprised, realizing that idea nulled, records locked, that made no sense. She didn't have any clues except for a nickname. The girl, looking at the screen, requested dog spirit, with exclamation. Yeah, that was it. However, the signal connection was too bad. That's why every time all the services were interrupting, what was going on? The video was loading. She was so careful. Momo was stubbed. The dog started barking. The girl was surprised. That girl used to be a game a live streamer in the world he lived. Who would know in that parallel universe she was a hacker? Parallel worlds shared same things but also had differences. Yeah, the internet had been fixed. She apologized in front of the audience and explained that just at that time her computer had some sort of virus. The guys were chatting that virus even asked for money. It must be a hoax. Husky suspected that seemed like the internet had returned to normal. He could create his own identity. And was fascinated, couldn't he? Sure, he could create his own identity. Great, he was so glad, and seemed as though to be close to the accomplishment of his wish. It was just a virtual identity. What was to be happy about? That was the question. Though at that moment he was a dog, he was having a lovely life, the system declared. The owner asked Momo to come to her, because people wanted to see him. The dog replied in her head that she had no idea how much trouble a dog had to deal with. The system asked to give it the example, he thought it over. Then, girl approached Momo, because she was too furious she was shouting her name, asking did she just pretended not to hear her. He was frightened, telling that he was wrong, asking not to hit him in THR face. In a minute she was dogging him to computer, that was the trouble he told the system about. So many people wanted to see him, she asked the dog to say hi to them. Momo wanted to avoid that event and made so angry face he could, the chat admitted that again they saw the scorning eyes. There came new task, in the next ten minutes to join his master in the live streaming and double the number of comments. He took it, in the meanwhile she was talking with the viewers, saying that she wanted to sing a song, she loved that song very much. He emphasized that task so stupid, otherwise the task was accepted, she said she would sing the song right away. But the performance was straight by Husky first, the dog lead her out of confusion. He also brought her sorrow. Momo put on her bra and began dancing. Someone stole the treasure in her heart. She was singing. When Chad wrote that Momo was dancing with her clothes, she was so shocked and embarrassing. She cried too loud to the whole city. Momo, that way the ground and the walls straight vibrating. The task was completed. The player was awarded with 2,000 points. However, he turned to be homeless for some time. Sitting near the door of his house, the girl commented that Momo had to think about what he did wrong. At that time that he had been tossed out, why didn't he take a walk, he thought. The situation was that he met the hunters or just the gangsters. The stupid dog had come back. That was just what he wanted. He got angry. With being there, no one could hurt that girl, his owner. He was standing amidst two men with the guns. Behind the dog there was laying the girl on the ground. They were attacking the dog and the girl, proclaiming, Behave, little puppy, he told. He put the weapon into the ground with the aim to scare everyone. Momo started to attack them both, requesting if they wanted to catch him. That was not going to happen. Stupid dog, they shouted. That was a trap. Take my bullets, he advised, warned him. The bang was performed. The dog soared into the air, as thought Arrow Gymnast. He, with the open mouth, exclaimed, My godness, was that really just a dog? He was so fascinated. It was Momo's turn to attack and to take a revenge. One more guy stood looking into the sky. Husky took him down with his paws with so much strength. It made so much pain to him on his chest. He took the gun into his teeth. What was his plan? Let's see. He finally took down the man with the gun. He reminded to himself in the head. Player, the system addressed to Momo. With a warning to watch out, there was the danger coming to him. They threw the syringe to him what stubbed into his foot. And then he saw the light far from him. Just one bright point in the middle of the forest between the bushes and trees. The man, with the cigar in his mouth interested if it had been a coincidence. He, was so big weapon was aimed from the blind spot behind at the dog's neck but it dodged the bullet. How come? He wanted to know. Damn it, the man with the rope exclaimed, and added that he was the best. They finally nailed that stupid dog. Momo understood that he was losing the consciousness. That was the only solution, system. Husky directed, inject all the strengthening potions into me. The order had been confirmed. Suddenly, 
there appeared one more guy who said they were a bunch of crap. Where was that Tibetan mastiff? he asked. It must be nearby, he responded. He promised to find it after he tied up that husky, who was laying without any sign to be alive. They were screaming if it didn't get an anesthetic shot. Why could it move? Anathar one commanded to go after it. Momo was rushing to to the deep forest, the system interested if he was going to leaving behind. That man was difficult to deal with but he couldn't just leave, he was craving to know what should he do. They called Momo the stupid dog and threatened that they wouldn't let him get away. They were catching up with him, system, come up with a plan, didn't you say you are omnipotent, those were his words. The system judged from his current situation, the only solution was to play lottery, in the hope of getting new props or skills to solve the crisis. Momo said it was a life and death moment. That time, didn't follow me. He disappointed and parried that way. Then, let's do it, he added. The system was fair and just. Then it sent a variety of messages of congratulations that he had won a powerful sarcasm potion, a pack of high-quality dog food, a dog bikini suit, and some other things. Why that crap again? What the heck was the powerful sarcasm potion and the shining dog food bowl? The order was confirmed. Later Momo got more angrier, addressing to it if they were doing it on purposes. Was it still a bunch of useless crap? Do it again, he commanded. But three minutes later he asked what he earned those points so hard, and that was what he had given him in return. A bunch of useless garbage. It was like a prank. The system laughed at him that he was lack of points. He couldn't play the lucky draw again. Fine. He was fed up. He would toss all the props he had at those guys. At least it would stall them for a while. Again the order was confirmed. One of the men directed to the boss with the supposition that it seemed like something from the sky was dropping on them. And he responded they were about to catch that dog, and commanded to run. What did you say he repeated? His eyes were hid behind the dark glasses. There were flying useless things of the dog. They were observing it as though so catching performance. The things were attacking him. They were crying what the heck, was the dog food, why would it fall from sky, where did those bottles and cans come from, the items were beating them both. Suddenly, one of them broke, the vase. That place was full of bangs, its vibrations interrupted the hive, and those men were interested what was that sound. As it turned out, this sound was made by wasps. They were bitten, they were screaming with the interest where did those wasps come from, however Momo didn't know what was going on. It was the powerful sarcasm potion. It attracted hatred from nearby creatures. That place happened to have a hornet's nest. Momo just laughed at the words and admitted that they deserved that. However, they strayed to follow Momo. They approached him. He was so shocked, the sweat strayed to appear on his hair. Stay away from me, he exclaimed. The next scene started from the man, with the name Wan Yud. He obeyed to some old man. Being on the knees he told how nice to meet him, calling him the Highness. Your Highness, the boy directed, exclaiming that Wan Yud was the guy who colluded with demons. With so sad eyes, being confused, he addressed to Mr. Ling, requesting what was he talking about, what demons he meant. Then they were communicating to Loud. He commanded him not to deny it, because he hooked up with a dog demon to hurt the people, told the story that his family invited a senior tutor from the Infinite Sect to bring peace back to Gusa Town, then started the questions to Wan Yud. Where was the evil dog demon? that one was hiding behind the wall, thinking that was seriously, because there were actually people who caught demons. Damn it, Wan Yud would absolutely take that chance to get rid of him. All his hard work would be wasted. He was a determined guy. He would leave everything behind to save his own life. He would come back again in all his glory. That was the promise. He was making excuses, calling him Hunus, that there was no dog spirit at all. He had made that up to fool the businessman. Wait, the dog stopped to think everything over. That moron didn't sell him out, he surprised. However, he kept on talking that he had to do so. Otherwise, they wouldn't willingly give him all their money. Everyone knew he was just a good for nothing. He couldn't have been so successful without withery. Enough? Another one interrupted. He explained that he didn't have time to hear that. He was not allowed to lie to him. There happened the thunder punishment thousand blades, causing so much pain. He was trying to collect Guy's last power to pronounce that he didn't lie. The dog even lost his sausage. What was he doing? His eyes were full of empathy. He knew they all looked down on him. They thought he was stupid and incapable, and that they would accomplish nothing in life. But that time it was different. He was the one who confused people's minds and founded the Union. 
He was the person who upset the market and bullied his fellow businessmen. In addition, also the person who had been greedy and tried to make money any way he could. There was no dog spirit at all. It was him. He was the one who did everything. It was him, Wan Yid, whom he thought that over, made the conclusions. Suddenly, he used the withdrawal of the thunder law. Again he called him the highness, asking not to be fooled by that cunning man. Thinder represented justice. If a demon was hidden there, the thunder would change its form. In a moment he was on the ground, laying, almost dead. That man showed nothing related to demons when he took a thunder strike. He was just shameless businessman. The dog interested if he meant the dog was not the demon they were talking about. He got it. The stupid system turned him into a dog, not a dog demon. He was just an innocent puppy. Demons and stuff irrelevant to him. He was soup set, on the verge of crying. It was very foolish of that man to spew all that unnecessary crap. Later again he addressed to him as an immortal one, saying that he was so brilliant and fair. The truth was, that matter didn't concern demons. They bowed down to each other. As for such a shameless businessman, he paused, without continuation. He told the truth he was going to kill him. The dog, in general, didn't know what to do with all those events. He told to his highness that he had just eliminated a hazard for the town. The highness offered him to go, as they were going to erase the other members of the dog's spirit union. They left behind so terrible picture. Wan Yud, the dog was frightened. The girls were scary the same way. The dog approached him, calling him an idiot. He responded that he was glad he was fine. He laughed a little, and added that he had finally done something great. It was his pleasure, he admitted, and added, that was the pleasure to meet him. Momo, sitting on the sofa addressed to the system, with the command to show him the character introduction page, he was in the pose of the king. It showed the skills the ultimate deterrent of the king of dogs the summon of the king of dogs. He was looking so carefully to the screen, pretending as though he knew what was that. What was the content of that information? Momo, the girl owner exclaimed, saying that his food was there. That time he was going to have his favorite chicken liver flavor dog can. The can was near his mouth. However, he was resisting to eat. He was impressed how she could feed him with the dog food again. He admitted that he was a human. He was insisting that he wouldn't be satisfied with dog food. He had his dignity. Even if he would starve to death in the street, he wouldn't. Dignity didn't taste as good as dog food. He was chewing that with full cheeks, munching. After eating, he had gotta have some fun, system, he directed. Humble assistant, what could it offer him? He was fascinated. As the player requested, the system was at that moment opening the internet novel web page. That was all they have got. Didn't they have happier and more exciting novels in that world? Momo was going to comment on it. After completing his business, he emphasized that was good. He would let it see what a really exciting and emotion boosting novel should be like. He told to the system that he wanted to use the memory search capsule to browse all the novels he had read. The order was confirmed. Searching in progress. The novels he had read had appeared in his brain. Every word and every sentence. That was the best one. He proclaimed. The amazing spiritual martial world was forming. Husky was going to use Momo as his pseudonym. Mind-controlled keyboard input. Go. He commanded. First, he was going to give the main character a legendary life. He was a genius, but one day he lost all his power. That should be the right place. But why didn't they go to chase that Tibetan mastiff? Why must they wait for that weird husky to come out? Two men interested. It was very stupid of you, another one said, asking if he didn't see that their boss offered more bonus for catching that husky than that Tibetan mastiff. Once they got that dog, they would make a huge fortune out of it. Yeah, the boy agreed. They would stay there then. It had been a whole day. How came the dog hadn't showed up? He disappointed. He offered to wait for a longer while. That dog would definitely get out and poop. H.M. The character's marriage arrangement must be cancelled. There it went. A wise grandpa. Tasks were refreshed. The player could receive new tasks. Momo exclaimed that finally. He was going to have new tasks and decided to go out and play. The girl was knocking to the door. She addressed to Momo. Hinting if he wanted to hang out, she interested what the dog was doing in the bathroom, and commanded to get out. When they were outside, Momo wanted to have a rapid stroll. However, she wasn't ready for that. That's why I asked him to slow down. The situation with those men was the following. One of them was on the ground, directing to the boss, admitting that he was dying. Was that dog living in that neighborhood or not? He requested. 
he supported him with words not to give up and wanted to add something. That was, he made a supposition and kept silence. Boss, he screamed, that dog had come out, that was what they wanted for so long. Great, he stressed, go get it, he commanded. Two figures were shown behind the bushes, they decided to act. However Momo thought how that could be they didn't leave eat. Fine, he would get some points out of them. He set the aim for himself. System, he called it. Give me a new task. How motivated he was. Just look at that dog. The order was confirmed. As usual, task-based scanning was happening. No new tasks could be found. But it was the urgent situation. How could it not have any tasks for him? System, Momo addressed. Are you kidding? The next actions were happening near the White's Market. Those dog traffickers wouldn't dare to kidnap him in plain daylight, but he still needed to opt me up with a plan to escape. The girl owner was choosing there the products, but Momo was staying still, stubbed. What should he do? The old lady was walking with her ginger dog, who helped her to walk on her foot. Momo exclaimed that he had have got the idea. Husky used the ultimate deterrent of the king of dogs. He illuminated as though the sun's light was concentrated only on him. He became as though insane. That little dog was looking at him with the open mouth. Boss, he addressed to Momo, what could I do for you? He requested. He promised he would do anything for him. Momo proclaimed that skill was more powerful than what the description said. Come on, he added, because he wanted a word with him. Then they were sharing some plans with each other, and the answer of that little doff was yes. Those guys were searching there every step. One of them told to the boss that girl kept going into the crowds. Boss replied that it was fine. They would wait till they reached somewhere with fewer people. They couldn't get away. There appeared one more. But another pet, that ginger cute dog. Go away. The man waved his hands. They were in the middle of something, he added. But that didn't work. That dog didn't move his place. The man didn't understood the behavior of the animal, and got a little angry. The following actions just made a human crazy, because the dog just approached him and relieved himself. He shrieked that were his new boots. You stupid dog, he cried and even intended to punch him. The foot was on the verge to make pain to the little dog. However, he was able to dodge. That's why stayed untouchable. But then he performed another try. The pet of that old lady was ricocheted far away. Doofus, he directed to the man, commanding not to make a scene there. What if the husky and its master found them out? The man was so furious. The guy, with so disappointed face declared that dog dodged his kicks. What have you done to my puppy? The lady voiced over the question with so much anger. He waited something terrible from that woman. Yeah, she broke her stick, intending to have a fight for sure. She started to perform the movements from the karate. The granny shouted the words, the seventeenth air. She was going to teach them a lesson, she threatened. They were so scared. They were in the middle of street shouting so loud. There was used black tiger gouge power. On this picture the man was suffering from the dragon's sleigh. There was used the meat grinder. She was almost breaking him and she became the winner. As though they were on the battleground, two bodies were under her foot. The audience was shouting to grandma that she was so good, she just got the black sheep out of the crowd. She put her hand to the pet with so much love. It was done, stupid dog traffickers. At that moment they saw who was the strongest in that neighborhood. The city was so beautiful, covered with the orange light of the sun. They were finally home. When they came the line of the door, they, as though, breathed out. The dog was sweating, he wondered how much longer Toast people were going in his life. They were annoying and they couldn't bring any new tasks to Momo. Tasks to him. They were useless. He said that with exclamation. There was a ring. Husky heard the sound of the message. He was craving to have a new task. He turned to be crazy. Momo was so excited what that was. In a moment the dog was stubbed. From the sky started falling the envelopes. What were those? He was in the bunch of them with the head almost under the paper. Those appeared to be the direct messages the player had received on the internet. The system had materialized them. Stupid system, he roared, and commanded to take those back. Just show me the messages online, he requested. Momo repeated that he told him to take them back. Interested if the system couldn't hear him. What was that stuff? There was a new contract for him. The system suggested him to deal with it first. Then he laughed a bit and added that the online literature community finally found how good he was, system. He addressed, show me the contract. He was going to make a huge fortune. And it responded that the contract said 30% of the revenue generated by his works went to him, and the rest 70% to the website. Husky was impressed was that all. Wasn't it too little? 
was that the difficult situation all the writers were facing. The system advised the dog to stop whining. After all, he weren't the original author of that novel, and it was right, anyway, he uploaded it simply because he was mad. Sign the contract, system, that was not the best offer but he would take it anyways. Those were his words. There opened a new chapter. Momo was in good mood. To celebrate the contract signing, he would upload ten more chapters and then commanded to show him the comments that talked to him at the first place. He wanted to know what else the system could say. It was like a slap in his face. He would love that. The system itself interested why Momo was howling and commanded him to quiet down. Again he interested the system if that novel was going to bring big bucks to him and got friendly tips from the system that the player didn't need to buy anything. Making money wouldn't do any good. Husky was listening to it with a flat face, trying to submerge into the thinking. If Momo could have so much money after he became a human, and then he imagined the cars, airplanes, money. In addition, himself, sitting surrounded by the girls, making him so much joy. By the way, recently she told that she adopted a cat, and wanted to show him next time. Then she promised that they could go shopping together. She would like to buy a new pair of shoes. Last time, in the mall she saw and made a pause. That stupid dog. Her face changed its expression. Momo, someone called that husky, sitting in the chair. He turned his head craving to know why and who called him. He had been already sweating. The girl admitted that the dog was happy. After he saw her angry face, wasn't to kill him, he began worrying. From their flat there were heard the shouts of the dog, which meant the request not to punch him in the face. The passers-by even were turning their heads. You filled it again, the man's voice sounded. Mr. Zoe, he addressed, that granny was fierce, they weren't her match, and wanted to ask him something. Crap, he emphasized, first you said there were wasps and he told him he were defeated by some old woman. That sounded questionly. Stop making excuses, he cried. They were telling the truth, the man interrupted them. It didn't matter, he had hired Gushan. He commanded to both of them to get out or he threatened to kill them. He wanted to understand for sure if he meant the man that went by the nickname F equals dangerous wasp. Gaishan was working for him, he requested. BF dog, you are missing with my socks again, the girl parried. The boy submerged into his thoughts. That must be the place, he, soaring in the air, added. City was so awesome, there was a desire to live. Momo told that those villains seemed to have gone but he would better not let his guard down. If he saw them again, notify me, he warned. Consider it done, boss, I will handle it, the voice promised. That was for him. Husky pushed the package forward, and recommended him to work hard and he promised he would be rewarded. His substitute thanked him. The dogs were sitting whispering something to each other, and people were just surprised because of their behavior. The system joined those actions, telling that abnormal energy had been detected in the north. Player, it directed, stay alert. Husky was looking at that flying figure, and had a strong desire what he was doing. What was that he set the question? Why would the system warn him of it? Was it coming at Momo? He waited to know from the system, and asked to say something. That dog, the right hand of Husky, wanted to get the answer where his boss was going, and Momo replied that there was no time for explanation and commanded him to run too. Was that the Spider-Man? He had been following him the whole time. Running to the streets wouldn't help, Husky told. Looking at the moving object high in the sky, he was rushing so fast. That was the place, he exclaimed. And at that moment I was shocked by what I saw. Run through that alley. And suddenly something interrupted his speech and the system warned him to watch out. His head changed the place. Something punched him and his chin was bleeding. You are stuck, puppy, the man added. The guy was going to deal with that tiny tin mastiff but then he saw he was running and it suddenly occurred to him that the bonus for catching the dog was much higher. What was the thing that cut his face, he interested? Was it some sort of mysterious energy? Was that man a supervillain? He thought he was in a mild game, system. He directed, you fooled me, say something. Momo continued his speech, asking who was offering bonus for catching him. The Tibetan Mastiff. Was that man also working for that rich young man? And the man offered to cut to the chase. It coming, Momo said, worrying. Good night, puppy, the man parried and started waving his hands to different sides. The range of his attack had covered half of the ally. If he could jump, then, and stop talking. System, inject the strengthening potions into me. The same request what he was pronouncing before. The process started. The dog was jumping so high, as though flying. Just as the man expected, 
He was no ordinary dog, he realized. He was fully prepared as she thought, and asked Momo to lift up his head and take a look. There were the signs of cracking. He got it. He was a thread manipulator. No, Momo exclaimed. He couldn't dodge that one. A human grabbed Momo to the collar and started pushing somewhere. The sounds of cracking were gaining the loudness and power. Well, the girl said, it turned out the victim was a she stage armor man. If he had known that, he wouldn't have stayed home for some sleep. Husky added that she didn't know what a Spider-Man was. The one that jetated spider threads and flew around. Wait, Momo exclaimed in his head. She understood the dog language. For the girl it seemed like he was another armor man he didn't know about. Where was he from? She interested. She hadn't seen Husky before. Armor Man, that nickname just impressed Momo. He was obviously surprised or shocked not in a good way. Yeah, she admitted and added the request if he wasn't an armor man. Momo admitted that he didn't think he was. She was upset and declared that Husky looked like a younger brother to her and requested why would that super power man go after him? Was there any grudge between them two? Well, Momo replied, he guessed he knew who had sent him there. What was the armor man she was talking about? He asked. And what did she mean by superpower? She promised she would tell Husky when he was awakened. He thought that over and exclaimed that was the place. The sound of explosion had come from that place. He was looking right at that street. People were coming. She should leave. She decided for herself. Momo, being over her head, standing on the roof, exclaimed, Wait, bring me down to the ground. He was frightened and wanted to be rescued. When he saw the ground and the height of the building he felt dizziness. However, not only that was the reason, the surprise also was that the girl turned out that she was a cat. He addressed to the system, asking what was that about. The system suggested the player to first consider how to go home. Stupid dog, why are you late? The voice from our known flat sounded. To be honest, that was so terrible. He was sitting still on the sofa, requesting his constant helper what was an armor man. The system knew little about it. Perhaps it was just what he saw an animal that could transform into a human for a short time. It was like an animal wearing a mask and disguising as a person. Such an animal was called Armor Man. What about the superpower men? They had superpower, didn't they? He interested. And the answer was, sure. That parallel world actually had so many interesting settings. That was fun. That was so fascinating for the dog. His eyes even became full of life. Then he made a decision to turn into an Armor Man. The system sent him the message that the truth to be told had what it took. Husky didn't understand anything. That's why sat to think its words over. It also added that after Momo finished the tasks assigned by the system, he might gain a similar ability. Then the dog was completely stubbed. Then he asked to give him more tasks. Momo, stop howling, keep quiet. The girl owner commanded him. Because her house, her rules, in addition, she was talking on her phone. She pushed the phone to her ear and the girl asked, Hello, Lucia. What do you say? Her companion interested Ding. Are you okay? Yeah, she was. What happened? That was her next question. Her friend recommended her to watch the news. She offered her to take a look at that strange explosion. The reporter told that the nearby residents said that an explosion suddenly happened at that place. The area had been secured and the case was being investigated. It was suggested citizens took a detour around that area. She was so shocked and said the question wasn't that place in her neighborhood. It seemed a bit chaotic at her place recently. Why didn't she stay with her friend a while? She asked with calmness, if she really could, and the person at the other side explained that she had to just come, due to she had got plenty of rooms in her house. Plus, given what happened earlier, the girl's friend was worried about her. She interested if she meant the time when Momo had been stung by wasps. Then she overthought that Momo was fine after that but the whole thing still seemed suspicious. Okay, the person replied, and promised to take the dog and stay with them both for some time, and she would love to see how great the high-class villa's security guards were. After some time, they finally arrived. The car approached the door of the friend's house. From this place the adventures had to be straight. There they were. Momo was fascinated what he was going to do there, what rules that house had and how he would be fed. They entered. The girl owner thanked Lou sure that she, to say so, sheltered them for some time, her friend explained that the room was ready, and had a hope she would enjoy her stay. Momo opened his mouth of the surprise how beautiful that house was. It was so luxurious, according to the dog's opinion. Momo, she addressed, asking if he remembered that he used to live there, that impressed him, he was sure he didn't. By the way, she added, 
Where was her cat? She interested. She showed her that pretty girl, with big eyes and so soft hair. Her owner asked the cat to say hello to her guests. Yeah, she followed her offer and meowed. She admitted that was so cute. She loved that. However, the Momo's reaction was more interesting. He was staring at her for so long. The girl cat wasn't so glad with such as attention. Oh, you are the cat woman. He understood. That realization just made him crazy. He started barking with so much shock. She added just one meow. He was keeping a watchful eye on her. And his owner interrupted that process calling him a stupid dog, commanding to stop howling. Meowly, stay here. The girl moved her to another place. Because she was afraid of the dog. Making her something bad, she was going to put the luggage upstairs. Upstairs the guests saw the new curtains of the hostess of the house and shouted that they were awesome. Two animals were in all ears listening. The cat understood that was her time to sleep. That's why she laid on that place where she was left. However was interrupted by Momo. Asking if she didn't know him, she didn't say anything. Last time the cat beat up that Spider-Man, he reminded. Again, without any reaction she just meowed. And he was a little bit hesitated, interested if he really mistook the cat. When he came closer to her to check if his supposition was true, the cat was so frightened, he just shrieked. That was the smell he remembered. His dog's instincts wouldn't be able to tell him lie. The cat showed his nails, intending to make pain to Husky and shouted to get away from him. It was so painfully sharp for his dog's skin. The sound was heard everywhere in that vicinity. The cat, feeling the victory in that little fighting threatened not to try to impress her. Her master was careful and intelligent. If she got any inkling of it, she would kill Momo. The dog, with worries voiced over that she told him about armor people. If she told her, he would make trouble. She asked what he wanted to know. He interested if there were any other armor people besides her, were people with superpower his dialed to each other. She started retelling that there were only four armor people in the city, including her. The cat gave her the piece of advice to stay away from people with superpower. Otherwise, she paused. Momo, come here, the girl owner called him. He was afraid of his owner. She made so much bad the last time, he wanted to know what did she wanted to do. She was live streaming. The reason was that her fans wanted to see him. Come on, she said, put on this little dress she just bought for you, the girl added. He was shocked. The sweat showed on his face. He didn't want to wear women's clothes, of course. The long-term task detected, to interact with fans and help his master to become the no-one camp girl. She garbed him to put the dress on him. He shouted, System, damn you. Thank you for waiting. The live streaming started now, the girl added. First, the part they were most looking forward to. 600,000 fans' welfare. Momo in women's clothing. That poor dog was so crazy looking. And obviously, the chat admitted him so handsome. The dog was feminized. That was the fan's style. He was so angry, no, very furious. He said into his head that he wouldn't wear it if it wasn't for the sit-em task. Then the girl got the message, forced challenge invitation. Someone was going to challenge her for sure. Suddenly, the ring, the girl directed to Ing, and congratulated on getting 600,000 fans. She was there to support her. Her viewers wanted her to accept the challenge and not be afraid. Xing Yi, you are more beautiful. Where did you beautify yourself? She interested. She laughed a little and thanked her, with the addition that she was getting better and better at singing, almost better than her dog. They had the internet battle, so strange, to be honest, who will be the winner, decided now. Those women were scary for Momo. They were doing so weird things. He want DTO leave them as soon as possible. To celebrate her achievement, Ahe offered to let her sing her a song. She exclaimed that she would sing a song for her too, and asked to bear with her if she didn't sing well. In her head there were the thoughts that she didn't even know what they like. She would take her popularity from the welfare of 600,000 fans. She thanked her very much. She wondered what other programs Ng had prepared. There was a swoosh. Twenty rockets from nothing gold could stay to Li Ng. What? She was shocked. Her colleague, to say so, thanked her for twenty rockets of nothing gold could stay. And the rockets were from Lu Shur. Damn, she pronounced. Nothing gold could stay. It was okay. She still had the upper hand. She was going to win that day. What was going on? Momo asked. It looked like El Wying was gonna lose. The system sent the warm tip. The current challenge data of his master was at a disadvantage. If she failed, his task benefit would be deducted. Momo put off the dress and threw it far away. He understood if he couldn't let that happen. And asked the system how much revenue did he get from his novel. There was the author income of 2,005,000 Chinese money. 
So many, he was so very so shocked. System, cash out, he smiled. The girl was sitting still so quiet. Ing time was running out. Why don't we call it a day? Looks like I will win, the Ying's opponent declared. She didn't like those words, that's why I got so angry. Again, there came the system tip, that ten rockets from Momo to Li Ying. She even opened her mouth because of surprise. The chat was so active at that moment. They were commenting and commenting the situation. Then she thanked the audience for Momo's rocket combo. She repeated the gratitude a lot of times. Looking at the screen she wanted to say something about Momo. The head picture was Momo. That was the question. Who was that rich man? She had no impression of that person. He was crazy. Who scolded me? Momo exclaimed the question. He had received a new private message. And that was so surprising. The content was, Hello, who are you? Do you know each other? He just laughed a bit and added the words, You tell me. The girl squeezed the dog with so much strength so that it was on the verge of choking. He grabbed his ears and proclaimed that he was going to become deaf because she almost tore them. What was the matter? The girlfriend interested. She was really frightened because of the voice of the dog. He was as though pew crying like a real person. When another girl saw the appeared there fellow she rushed to hug her. According to her actions she was so tactile girl, for her it wasn't matter what people would think of her, and if they liked that, in Atterton, she was happy, because one thiasand rocket she got made her rich. Okay, okay, she calmed down the girl, and asked to tell her what happened. Do you know that man, she added. Her answer was negative, she didn't know, he used Momo's head picture, maybe a new fan, she made a supposition, he didn't reply to her message, and he didn't accept her friend request. She wasn't so glad because of it, and it made some kind of much to her confidence. The man gave her five hundred thousand at a time, but he didn't contact her. Maybe that was a true love fan. She made so much fun of it. However, Momo wasn't pleased with all those happening events. He interested who was in love with a disgruntled face. Host, the system addressed to Husky. You are blushing, he declared. However, that made the dog angry. He commanded it to shut up. Momo. I would buy you a big meal, the owner told, because she had made a lot of money that day. He was fascinated. That was too close. Wait, a big meal, he realized. Momo had spent all that money for a big meal. He understood that only then, after the gittle went out, leaving him alone. The owner was calling her fellow Lucia, asking what she wanted to eat. It was her treat, and Husky was keeping the thought that he had to look back. She was laughing so hard. Momo kept on thinking that she was so happy. It was worth it. Suddenly, there sounded the ring. It was the system task with a content to save Xiao Bai, an armor man, and requested if he took it. There was an armor man around here, he interested, and made a decision to take it, obviously. Later he started to wave his head to the different sides looking for something. However, no, we know whom he was going to find. Where was it? He asked himself, and continued the findings. The he became really furious, with a desire to know where the hell was it. Momo, the girl owner exclaimed, behave yourself, and commanded not to make trouble, promising that they would be right back. He surprised to hear such kind of news. The door closed and Husky set an aim to do something interesting. His plans were interrupted by the cat, who put the mouse to the floor. He requested if it could be the white mouse. What should he do at that moment? He exclaimed, God, obviously, his head caught some idea. His then he added that the cat had to let the muse go and asked to do it to him. The mouse was so frightened for sure, Ahe just wanted to be left alone and go do her own deals. He was searching for her reaction with the open mouse where his tongue was hanging. Then he got angry and interested how she dared to enter his house, and proclaimed her dead. We see Husky being so furious for the first time, I guess. And he really intended to do her some harm with her cute paws. She was shouting him to stop. She was scared and wanted to live. He followed her request and asked if she was Xiao Bai and offered to cooperate with him. She was looking at him with so pretty little eyes and pronounced the only word. But Momo understood what she wanted to add and parried that a stupid cat was not easy to fool, and commanded her to go. Then she decided to disappoint him that she wasn't Xiao Bai. He was surprised that she wasn't Xiao Bai. Behind him there was a cat, who was looking at the mouse with the widely opened eyes, craving to kill and at her. She exclaimed that Momo was a stupid dog. Go to hell. The sound of shriek performed from that house, all the vicinity covered with that noise. A girl who was quite familiar for us was sitting still on the chair. The picture we see was so terrible. Husky, laying on the floor, with a big bump and a variety of bruises was suffering so much pain, 
He added that even he misunderstood, he didn't have to beat him up with her human form, he was the leading role. So, Xiao Bai was missing, she replied, Momo suspected it had been taken away a dog-fighting operator. Boss, the mouse addressed, telling that he investigated, he got the proof. Was Xiao Bai strong, the dog was full of interest, so he wanted to become of the little size to communicate with the mouse with comfort. The mouse shouted that it was not about strong or not, he was one of those rare dogs. He imaged the picture of him, and the mouse added it had well-developed muscles, thick eyebrows and big eyes. Momo responded that it should be the one in the task. He was sure it was right that time. Wait, he stopped the mouse. If it was strong, how did it get caught? Was it honey trap? That was the actual question. The mouse suspected I had been drugged. It had been drugged. Tai girl was impressed. Yeah, when the mouse saw him in the dog fighting center, she took out his favorite thing, but he didn't have any interest in it. And Momo asked if that was his favorite thing. What was it? He was throwing so much questions to the little white animal. Let me show you, he decided. He showed some item, that was it, when it saw it, and stopped retelling as thought overthinking something. Throw it, the girl cat shouted the command, as far away as possible, or she would eat the mouse, that was her threat. Husky was screaming how did she get that from her back. The mouse interested if that wasn't that good stuff, and why did boss always got so worked up, and requested if he wanted it. Husky was negotiating that, no, 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 he thanked her. So, what was he going to do? The mouse glad that he pronounced that question and added that he thought it was just not strong enough. If the dog brought more and bigger and thicker, Xiao Bai would certainly wake up, he exclaimed. But he was too small to take it. So, he came to boss for help. And the mouse and husky were keeping a watchful eye on the girl, who was telling that he had a plan, and said that the mouse could have the dog next to the him, and recommended to take it for the race. He admitted she was right. It was a great plan. No, Momo exclaimed, asking why would she had such a flaky plan. What was wrong with it? She asked, and the mouse, standing as though the right hand of her was proclaiming her words right and suitable for the situation. There was something wrong from start to finish. Why could that thing wake up? He got angry and was pronouncing his words so furiously. Momo, the girl owner came back. She suggested him to come and see what she had bought him. All of a sudden, and the girl appeared to be a cat laying so cute on the sofa. Momo was shocked. That was so fast turning back. What shall he do? He repeated that question twice, and then was assuring himself to calm down. Yes, the mouse, you. He wanted to direct to her, however saw only the step on the wall of his silhouette. He was stubbed, as though hypnotizing the wall. Momo, the shadow of the girl covered him fully. He was frightened, interesting what she wanted to have from him. She started screaming the words what did she say before she left, obviously, she didn't like what she saw at home. He started to make excuses that he didn't do that, he was the victim, the cat, he blamed the cat, but there was one minus that no one could understand him. The cat at that moment was laying in her hands, relaxing, having the smile on her face, she was just meowing without any troubles. She was glad Momo was told off for sure. He was scared that he would be punched and no one would never believe him. He voiced over that she set him up. And the fighting had started. She is the iron fist of love. She was as though on the battleground. No, on the ring. Boxing with the opponent. Why would that happen? The hostess of the house set the question. However, no one heard. Because they were into the process of fighting. She didn't know even what to answer. She kept silence and looked down because of shame. Schedule an appointment for me. The girl said to her companion in the phone. That evening, she wanted to meet that big boss. What's up? She interested her fellow. Something happened in the company. She needed to take some actions. But first we needed to find out if everything was okay. Yeah, it just happened to be a strange business partner. Didn't you say you wanted to see what a rich man's life was like? She requested. Will you go with me? She offered. She was so happy with that. And the surprise was so big so she had to open her mouth just to relieve some reaction. Some influence of the hormones of happiness. She explained that was just a ball and there followed the question if she was interested in it. Had everyone come, the cat wanted to know. The mouse pronounced that there he was, and Momo told that so was he, but was it really necessary to, and stop talking not finishing the conversation. Shut up, the cat told, say something nice or didn't you ever open your mouth again. The cat told, booze was right, someone exclaimed. There were different speeches, and someone was going to call a pause to the plan. Husky wanted to know if they were going to tell them there was a mole. 
She entered the room and told that she knew he would be there. They were like fighting, scratching each other, making pain. She was going out with Lu Shi that evening. She commanded him to stay there, threatening if she dared to make a mess again, she would punish him. Plus, don't bully the cat, and closed the door with a loud sound to show him he was on blame that day. Having so many sins, he shouted that she couldn't see who was the real bully there, but got no answer. Pop up, boss, are we gonna continue, the mouse interested. No, the cat blamed that stupid dog, they seldom had such a good opportunity, but it had been ruined. Momo responded that he had got nothing to do with it, and took that suggestion, namely, not to watch any more of those stupid soap operas on TV. The mouse, sitting near him called him dude, recommending not to utter a word if he couldn't think of any good stuff to say. She offered to get down to the business. They would act according to plan A. She made a decision without everyone. The content of the dog was the following. First, the dog and she would find a way to get in the contest and became contestants. The second, the dog and she will create a mess and lure out the staff while the white mouse gets the control of the command office. Third, the dog will be arranged to fight white. He will give the detoxing pill to white and help him out. At last, they will run away with sweet victory. This detoxing pill was made by me, the mouse told. When someone saw white, they just had TP throw it in his mouth. What if there was a problem occurring in the middle of the mission, he added. Then we will go plan B, the cat declared. Momo added the request if there was actually one more plan. What an idiot, the cat exclaimed. Plan B meant they would act according to the specific situation. System, Momo addressed. Dear System, I feel like I'm gonna fail this task. I have got two moronic teammates. By no means I will be able to lead them well. Help me. Those were his words, and the system contended that the black cat's plan was perfect, and that the player didn't need extra help. In order to encourage Momo to better finish the task, the rules will be altered. If the player failed, he would be forced to breed offspring to reach general upgrade. He understood that was cruel of the system. Hey, lousy dog, come on, the cat shrieked. We are gonna be late FOT the game. He was coming. The night of the ball came. The place was decorated with the lamps of different forms. That place was illuminated SP awesome. The car arrived to the entrance. They approached to the destination. Lou sure, the voice sounded. Does my new shirt's collar look fine? She asked for her opinion, and her friend admitted it was good. Wow, she exclaimed. What a luxury hotel. She had so much surprise and the girls looked so worried at the one hand and inspired to another. On the picture we see the other side, Momo. The cat and the mouse were rushing somewhere. Husky set the question how much longer was it going to take, and the mouse responded that they were almost there. They were met by the doorman, who told them that on every mass there was a number. That evening's ball would have a lucky draw. The man wished everyone a good time. She saw Th and Amber on her mask and exclaimed what an exquisite mask. She got the number 233. Lucia, the girl directed. Everyone was wearing a mask there, and added the question how could they found the person they were going to meet. Let me see, she asked with so much enthusiasm. Beauties, the boy interrupted their speech and asked what they were looking for. She was happy to see him and thought that was so happy coincidence. They were just looking for that boy, who was Mr. Lee. He interested to what did he owe that honor, and smiled with his so white teeth. Later the girl decided to leave them alone and apologized with an excuse that she would like to get some food. They were talking with each other. She expressed how nice that was to meet him. She introduced as Lu Shi with Xiaoying Fashion Ltd. She would like to talk with him about their cooperation. That interested him. He knew the girl's samples had arrived one day later than scheduled due to an accident during the delivery. She wanted to say some words. However, he started speaking that he knew. He knew her products were great, but he made a pause. Then he continued when he did business. The product's quality and price came first, but the boy also attached great importance to the chemistry between him and his partners. It sounded mysterious, and actually, it was actually. He turned back with a desire to go and added that he looked forward to their next business cooperation. She shouted that he rejected their not because of their products. What should she do to earn herself another chance to cooperate with him? That was the question. Chance, he reasked, and decided to say start it all over again if she was lucky enough. Suddenly, her friend came back. She interrupted that conversation, proclaiming the food the so delicious. She even offered her something, and she agreed she wanted to get a cookie. But those cakes couldn't compare to those she made. Anyway, how did the talk go? She interested, of course. 
there started the girly topics. He refused, she told with so disappointing face, and her friend was so surprised that someone actually rejected her. That couldn't be true. She was calming her down making compliments, telling that she was such a gorgeous lady. He had no taste at all. Stop teasing me, she exclaimed. That guy had given her a strange reason. He said it was about chemistry. Luck and stuff, she reasked. Chemistry, asking if he was doing bizinus to start cultivation. That day's lucky draw had begun. The prize went to number 233. She was a lovely girl. The voice responded. They both were too shocked. They didn't know how to react. What? The girl surprised. 233 me. What happened? She was impressed and her friend declared that the ball would randomly choose a lucky man or lady to receive a special prize. Special prize, she interested. Did I just win it? Wow. She was so happy. She was going to give her girlfriend half of it. Wait, she repeated the prize. What was that? She wanted to know. Mr. Lee, could we talk about our business cooperation now? They requested the guys, standing in front of the men dressed in ties. The sure, the guy agreed and, as though flirting, looked at the girls. The blue-haired girl even added that was right when she decided to bring her to the ball. Silly though he was such a lucky pup, the girl a little bit upset, even offended, shrieking that she was not silly. Her friend explained that she meant she bright good luck. The other side, the man was quietly walking with a dog, being into his thights. Suddenly, someone garbed his collar with a dog, without understanding what they were going to do with them. The sounds of several bangs performed. It was the cat who turned into the girl, or vice versa. It was not so vital. She laughed and told that she had got an entry permit at that moment. She commanded her team to go. At the entry to the contest there was a queue. They both fixed the number and were passing face control. The man was trying to compare the photo and the real Momo, and he started to doubt if the girl was sure she had brought the right dog. She made so confident face and said yes. When she was leaving home, she accidentally poured a bucket of paint on the dog. So decent story, but weird. Get in there, don't mess around, the man behind exclaimed. Momo even started crying. There was the restroom. When they entered, Husky was so surprised, and someone on the background asked if the situation was serious. What did they mean? There were people sitting on the chairs with their pets. They were so frightening. One of the men laughed. And another one was laughing that she had brought a husky there. Did she think it was a fun show? The boy interested. Quiet. The match was about to begin. The door opened a man with so big muscles started shouting. All of them had got their numbers. Get ready, guys, he recommended. Then he kept on explaining that if he dared to make noise again, they would be disqualified. The mouse was staring at the red eyes of the someone, who was looking right at him. What would be his following actions? What do you think? Then he pulled his socks up and interested if they were ready. They were mouses. One of them exclaimed that rest were assured. They had familiarized themselves with the venue. Good. When white meets the husky, they decided to act. As I understand the white mouse was the leader of that mouse company. All the rest were in all ears listening to him. The other side, the girls were sitting together, stubbed waiting for the prize. That was the mysterious prize, she interested. A dog fighting match, she added questioningly. He shouted to the ladies, explaining that was not just a match, it was great party, a huge social event. He was so proud of himself and the result of his actions. Mr. Lee, she addressed, asking if he was invited to watch that party. There was more than that, he declared, he had got two potential business partners there. Based on their fighting results, he would choose either of them to work with, but at that time, he had got a third choice, if the results different from what he had expected. He would choose to cooperate with the girl, and she interested if he meant if it was a tie, he would choose her company, and he laughed, saying that he could think it that way. But, she whispered, as though talking with herself, at that time, the dogs were barking on each other, and fighting like on the battleground. Would ties appear in such mats, the girl requested. The other side, the girl and Momo were together. She told that in Rome there used to be the Colosseum and they were looking at a dog's abattoir. Humans never changed, then asked if they thought it was fun to watch animals fight and die. Husky added that not every human was like that. At least his silly owner was kind. Indeed, that woman was quite silly. Only her super nice owner would see her as best friend. Enough chit-chatting, she exclaimed first, he would make a ridiculous scene so that the mouse could take that chance to get the control of the command office. Then it would change the game agenda and have his fight white. Later on, she told, the mouse would create a mess in the audience. 
Momo wanted to tell something, but kept silent. All of a sudden, and the shriek of them both sounded everywhere. What are they doing here? The audience surprised. Did you just say there was going to be a mess in the audience? Momo was sweating because of shame. The situation had become different. There was a change of plan. She decided that she should focus on the game, and Momo added the question what if he couldn't win his opponent? She recommended to pretend to be dead. And she directed to the mouse with a command to tell his leader that there was a change of plan. Cut the power and don't touch anything else. The mouse didn't know what to do. The conversation was stopped because the guy came telling that she was up, and offered her to come with him. She obeyed. The mouse had the mess in his head and understood that he didn't catch it. This set the question if he said cut the power and did touch anything else. He addressed to another mouse and commanded to tell the boss they needed to cut the power and do touch anything else. The mouse was stubbed. The time came, Husky entering the arena. Momo confidently stepped on the arena, with the eyes full of enthusiasm. There were a lot of different strong dogs, who were so complex opponents for Momo, he tried not to show his fear in front of them. The owners of the other dogs asked how came it was a dumb dog, was it a competition about which dog was better at running a house, what was wrong with the game organizer, he interested and exclaimed that was nasty. Momo was thinking what if they recognized him, sue M.O., use your brain, come up with a plan, he decided, system, he addressed, I want to hear what that silly woman was eyeing, he added. As the player requested, the system had provided relevant service, the fee was 20 points, the system expected positive comments from him. The girl owner even closed her mouth of surprise and the worry about Momo, she recognized him. Damn, Momo exclaimed, he wasn't glad of the whole situation. That couldn't be Momo. Her girl Frine calmed the girl down, she answered that it sure had a similar size to Momo. Its face also looked alike. Do you also have a husky? That was interesting, the boy said, she directed to him requesting why Mr. Lee would say so. He just happened to recall something funny. Turn, Husky exclaimed, and thanked God she didn't recognize him. His identity must not be revealed. Stupid Husky, the dog added, and gave him a piece of advice that he should surrender before it was too late. He replied she wouldn't recognize him until she saw his face. He was going to wrap up that game as soon as possible. And that pit bull got angry. Stupid Husky, are you too frightened to react? He was teasing Momo. The game started at that moment. He attacked the poor dog and promised he would finish him. Momo was staring at him and didn't have any strengths to do something. Suddenly, THR bang, that place had a fire under their legs. Momo exclaimed that that pit bull ambushed him, and recommended him to have shame. He commanded the dog not to let his face directly show to the audience. However, that big dog didn't care what Momo said, and in addition, called him stupid husky. He wanted Momo to die. There started the deterring shout of the king of dogs. On that little space there was happening the real conflict. The backstage, several dogs were making their own business. That foolish husky, even the girl, and the cat in the past, proclaimed him that way. That was a nasty trick, the pit bull added, asking what did Momo do to him. Momo tried to talk nicely to him, but he rejected. He had been forced to teach him a lesson. When Momo pushed him, that scary pit bull was laying on the ground, as though dying. The audience didn't know what to do. They didn't have any clue what was happening. Just at that time the man felt that Husky had a strong desire to kill. Another spectator asked was that really just a Husky? What a surprise that was. Well done, Husky, the girl directed. Momo told he was trying to finish the game quickly. They would end up ugly if they found them out. Meanwhile what was happening at the backstage? The man, dressed into the white gown, interested could any of the candidates arouse his interest. He was holding a syringe with the blood inside telling there was no need to rush. Soon it would be his turn. Inject, someone exclaimed, it was going to cheer him up. His eyes turned red, the veins became prominent. The picture was terrible. In a moment, Momo bided the hand of the doctor or who was he. He even didn't introduce himself. However, he didn't show any reaction. He was laughing and smiling. He called him a sweetheart. Asking if he wasn't a little baby, he directed him as a dear white. They had a scene of fighting. Momo was in the boxing gloves, making so hard punch to Pitbull, and guess who was the winner, Momo. The next battle was held with Husky and Rottweiler, and again, Momo was the winner. Another dog got only the bump on his head. A Caucasian shepherd dog lost that battle too. Momo was the god of that day. He, full of bruises and bleeding places on his face exclaimed so happily that he could fight for. Who else? 
he interested, he had been beaten in so many episodes, at that moment he could show off his power. The spectators couldn't relieve their surprise. Was that a husky? That was amazing. A dark horse, a big black horse, he was going to bet on the husky. The guy decided that was a terrible loss. That the girl asked if Momo was all right. The mouse said that the next one was white. He said he was fine and commanded to stop poking him. He was going to kill him. His appearance didn't assure the girl he would resist the fighting. That day's finals were on. Next was their shoe in. The white dog came on the battleground. It seemed to be a gentle breed, but its size and claws were definitely not in line with the dog's style. Three-time champion. There started the sounds that here came the white Labrador. Everyone was impressed by him. He was finally there. Momo understood. His realization made him worry a little bit, but he tried to pull his socks up and resist that. Hey, white, Momo shouted, directing to the Labrador, and told he was there to save him, calling him the armor man. The Labrador started roaring with anger. Later, Momo jumped so high to approach to the dog and fight, or the reason was just to protect himself. He was so angry and wanted to understand how to behave properly, in a suitable way. He set the question, he didn't understand me, with so much interest. They were roaring on each other, making the surrounding people be in the complete fear. Again, Momo used the dog king's deterrent. They were on the verge to kill each other. Momo was badly hurt with the Labrador's claws. The girl owner was so worried about her pet, she realized that was he. It's okay, her friend said on what she responded that even though she knew it was not Momo, she still got nervous. The husky wanted to avoid that mess. That stunt didn't work. He was shocked. Nothing helped him at that attack. So, he decided to make different tricks, flying and jumping, only not to be caught by that devil. That was done, Momo exclaimed. Labrador was stiffing. He opened his mouth just to breathe with full lungs. It worked. It worked that's why Momo was so glad. He proclaimed himself smart. Just at that moment he activated his stunt in the air. The Labrador was waiting for him to fall into his mouth. Momo couldn't knock it down, but he could stop it for a while. At the moment of the stop he threw the pill to white. The pill was thrown into the Labrador's mouth. It was done. Now you should wake up, Momo responded. His mission was complete. He was staring at Husky with the interest. Momo interested if it didn't work, system, he directed, and recommended to check its condition. Then came the message that the overdose of psionic suppressant, of interference drugs, an overdose of hallucinogenic drugs. That stupid rat's antidote didn't work. He was shocked with so much interest. It will take three minutes for the antidote to take effect, during which time the opponent will be fully enhanced, the system said. Was that a tonic or an antidote? He interested. Why could it become more powerful, system? Help, he exclaimed, and that appeared to be was with the spirit of its host. Momo was rushing with the strong intention to save himself, as long as he ran fast enough, and thought that the Labrador couldn't catch him unless he attacked. The boys as the audience were outraged if that was a running race. It was negative, refund, they were screaming. The husky was interesting, the doctor realized. The scene starts from the monitor room, where the mouses attacked the security man and they were searching for the cameras. But for what purpose, that was the question. The man was laying on the floor without consciousness. The picture was so terrible that makes us to to appreciate life. They were watching how Momo was leaving the Labrador. That race seemed to be legendary. The mouse thought that it was almost there. The girl was showing to the mouses that everything was fine. They advised her to go ahead. There was the signal, move, he commanded to the other members of his team. Yes, boss, they obeyed. The whole troop was going to complete their mission. The whole team started to nibble the wires with so much enthusiasm. They were trying to do that as fast as possible. The speed of their actions was rapid, so proficient, so they were on the verge to do everything perfectly. At the court, the girls safe that there was a slight accident, but it wasn't a big problem. And then, she made a pause, and continued the question what did she tell the rat before? Standing in front of the button the mouse thought that there, he just needed to press that. Shiver, human, the mouse exclaimed and pressed it, with so much readiness. The warning system started working, beeping, the rooms covered in red color, giving so much fear and worry. There, on the battleground, namely, on the stadium the audience was keeping a watchful eye, and someone added the comments why was it sprinkling? It was a bummer. Momo was crying what was going on, with an understanding it was not the same as promised. There would be a mess in the audience, he exclaimed, was the stupid woman okay, he interested. 
It was not over yet, let me dodge, Husky asked, and called the system to show him a picture of the audience. The system told that it had been implemented according to his request. It costed fifty points. Then it thanked Momo for his support. What happened? Lu sure, the red-haired girl requested. Her friend didn't know, but offered to leave first. That handsome man, who was obviously flirting with the Lu Shur's friend called them pretty ladies, asking them not to panic and follow him. The power went out. How could they get out of there in the dark? They interested. But later he decided to take control of everyone and calm them down not to panic. They were following him hand in hand. Well, hello, the man told, shaking hands with the red-haired girl, who had so awesome appearance. The girls appeared to be in the crowd. One of them offered to go by themselves and worried about her friend, warning her to be careful. Lu sure, she addressed. There was an umbrella. She intended to use it. Momo was the happiest dog ever. Luckily, he told the system to put the umbrella there and set it so that only could see it. The Labrador reached the destination, namely, Momo. He pushed him to the ground, making pain. He didn't have some power to breathe, however was screaming with his left strength. System, help, he asked, being punched to the different parts of the body. The white dog was so furious, he was roaring to Momo, then wanted to tell something, telling, I, I am, and then closed his mouth. Suddenly, Momo got the chance to escape and protect himself. In addition, to bring him back to the consciousness, he set the aim and its head thinking how to act properly. Wake up, Momo shouted, beating the white dog to his teeth. Bang, and that angry Labrador fell on the ground with the face down. Then he was deciding what was happening, why he had pain in the body, and why he was there, on the battleground, in the company of Husky. Let's talk about it later. The girl interrupted them and they made a decision to go. The mouse admitted that way their boss was in the evacuation zone. Labrador even added that was good, the victory was at hand, and Momo interested why was he called white, and Labrador smiled, saying that he was timid. Suddenly, the mouse fell on the floor. Something happened or what? There appeared a man in a white gown, directing to the woman the question if she could give him white back. It was a meeting on a narrow path. According to their faces we can say they were in a fear of that man. The girl commanded to Husky to stop the man because she would take White away first, Momo was shocked. He had made contributions to the armor man. She couldn't leave him alone. He was so frightened. White was afraid someone had to take it away, and Momo had nothing as to agree. Stall him. I will come to help you as soon as I put White in a safe place, the girl told. Hurry up, Momo asked them. That crazy doctor started attacking Momo. That was the moment when the dog had so fast heartbeats. Then he collected his strength together and threatened him not to mess with him. He was powerful enough, as he said, in a moment of his current confidence. He added, that he would beat that stone dog. Hey, the dog got angry, reaching to the doctor who wanted to escape. He threatened not to look down on him. He was the leading role. Then bited him to the gown to stop. Stupid dog, he exclaimed, holding three syringes in his hand, intending to do something harmful to him for sure. It was dangerous, he understood and jumped to avoid being injected, while the man had thrown three of them to him, but unsuccessfully. Momo wanted the man to try his claw skills. The syringes with the unknown liquid were some kind of the doctor's weapons. There was happening a complete mess, a lot of actions. Husky, not bad, the man admitted, asking if he was an armor man too, just become human, he exclaimed. Momo proclaimed him to be disgusting, that was a close call, fortunately. He cut them off in time with his claws. All the syringes flew away, not hitting the bull's eye. Be strong, he commanded to the poot dog. The game was just beginning. Husky, he directed, I like you more and more. Those were his words and decided to make injection. Come on, play with me. He was teasing the dog. Let me enjoy it. He pronounced his desire. But it was so scaring, like he was really crazy sick man. Come here, I will treat you well, he said. He was staring at the doctor's eyes. His eyesight was so angry and full of hate. Game over, he voiced over his last phrase, and there started the fighting between the dog and the human. Momo threw the pill to his mouth. It was a perfect hit. It was time to take his medicine, Husky decided. How could you, the man disappointed, that medicine was poisonous, he exclaimed, knowing that he was on the verge to die. It was just an antidote. He said it smelled the same as white. Momo was just trying. He didn't think he would make it. He gotta go. Outside the arena, they three were having the conversation. One of the girls said it was a memorable game, 
Lu Shu even didn't expect to see such a result. He accepted defeat and directed to Miss Lu, telling he would like to make another appointment tomorrow. She smiled so pretty and pronounced the word of agreement, okay. On the way home, the girl was surprised what a magical experience that day. She wondered how the husky was doing, and she responded that the staff would take care of it, and suggested to go back. Momo was waiting for them. Motorcycle racing, she surprised, with a hint of fear, because the motorcycles appeared there suddenly. Slow down, Momo asked the girl, because he was frightened, their speed was so dangerous to life. But for the girl it wasn't that way, she told it was already slow. Though we're approaching the horizon, making so loud noise. Before dawn, the dog was looking around standing on the roof of a building. All of a sudden he heard something there, over his head and was stubbed. In Batman, the silhouette on the roof proclaimed, what made so much surprise to the security dog. It was Momo who was going to jump over the roof with such a height. He fell, and not successfully oops. He appeared to be laying on the bunch of the boxes and the dog interested what his boss doing there, and got the reply, nothing, he was affected by that stupid cat and thought the might look cool but, added the question would those guys he talked about really show up, and they would, the security dog had been investigating that matter for a long time and he finally found those dog traffickers usually met up at that spot, that was Li Ying, he interested, and kept on talking, what was that silly woman doing there? Oh, it was not Li Ying. The girl responded, she just made a mistake. It was fine. She calmed Momo down. That woman was boozed, Husky thought. She was standing looking at the edge of the building. Out of nowhere she was interrupted by the men, who looked like gangsters. One of them grabbed her shoulders and admitted her gorgeous. They finally found her, commanding not to go away from them. They would send her home, he promised. She was frightened, refusing, telling that she was good. Asking to go of her, the dog barked, calling the boss, declaring that according to his investigation, those two people were the dog traffickers, they used to, and stopped talking. Boss, he asked, looking at some kind of figure, Momo exclaimed, that was the two of them again. Every time he saw them, they were doing evil. The men he hated most were those who bully girls, and threatened them to go of that lady and let him fill his place, or they would be dead. Suddenly, the ring... New task triggered, please help the lady out of trouble. Momo accepted it. He was going to teach them a lesson even if he hadn't given him a task. Leave me alone, he shouted. They were fighting. Momo was trying to resist it. He was biting them to the blood. Ouch. The man exclaimed, I bit. No, the dog, the dog bit me, he cried. Sis, the boy exclaimed. Sis, are you okay? He interested. She was fine for sure. You crazy dog, they shouted. Today we will kill you. They threw the promise, boss, the security dog directed to Momo. Lure them over and each of us will take one guy. You remember the rules, don't let them die, and he accepted it. Go to hell, the gangsta shrieked, attacking both of the dogs. That place was in a mess of different punches. Each of them felt pain, left bruises and scars on the bodies. Nailed it, they were defeated, the winners were the dogs. The ring, task finished, player had got 2,000 points. Lucky draw system upgrade finished. He will receive 1% discount if he draw 10 times in a row. Draw 2,000 points. Look what a beautiful night this is. He proclaimed himself lucky, directing to the system. Promising that he would pay the lucky draw 10 times in a row. He didn't even need that discount. The order had been confirmed. Lucky draw started. Congratulations. Three bottles of strengthening juice. Four packs of high quality dog food. Leg strengthening. A puppet. Bad luck card, those were the presents. Concerning the leg strengthening, that looked good but the description was a bit weird. On the description of a puppet he asked what was happening to the system. Did it finally see how charming he was and open its mind, it had become his admirer, hasn't it? He was being so lucky, he would play the lucky draw for ten more times, he decided. Order confirmed, lucky draw started. But then he decided he shouldn't have had high expectations. If he ever fall for the system's trick again, he swore he would walk with his hind legs in front, the dog supported him, but wanted to know what he was talking about. Take these, you look thinner lately, boss, he directed. How come you could hold out so much food out of nowhere? Momo plunged into his own thoughts, admitting, here you are. The girl thanked the dog out for helping her. Momo was so proud of himself. The girl and the boy were sitting still on the ground, having fun together, they were patting the dogs like they were their pets, they thought they were so cute. The boy addressed to the sister, 
asking why didn't she go home with him, she replied it was just a small accident, she was going to be fine. Then she exclaimed that those guys weren't regulars, she heard that they had earned a large sum of money by dog trafficking, that was why they could afford to play in the club. The boy was just shocked, he opened his mouth, with an intention to say something, but preferred to keep the silence. All right, the girl said, she knew those people, they worked for the notorious Mr. Zoe, next time when she saw them, she would avoid them, and the husky, having heard that decided that the mentioned Mr. Zoe had been everywhere. Anyway, thank you, puppy, she added. She called Momo her little hero and kissed his forehead. Momo had blushed and was so shy and thought the situation was awkward. Then, later, in the conversation with the brother she replied she was sober, and that he should go home. She was going to continue working in the club, but he directed to her with a recommendation to take some rest. That was the fifth part-time job she had had that day. She got angry a little bit on her brother, but she was more bothered about the dogs. They looked neat and clean. They must have got lost. Having interested why she didn't take him to the police, they would help him find his owner, and Momo shouted, No way, he didn't have such a desire. For Momo it was time to leave, he decided that for himself, and another dog proclaimed that was a right decision. While the dogs made the first steps to leave, they were stopped by the shouts of the girl where they were going, with the additional command not to run away. Husky opened his mouth with so much surprising, he needed to figure out a way to get rid of that girl. He started sweating just because he had another plans. She was trying to break them. Suddenly, the man was riding a bike. Momo saw him and his head created the plan, which he was going to voice over. All members of that company were screaming where the puppy was going, and Momo made instructed them to follow that bow rider. The man didn't suspect anything, any problems coming to his life. A lot of people were trying to catch him. He was just keeping up his own way. The girl's sister interested her brother was that man their owner, and the boy replied that according to his opinion he was, if not, why would the dogs run behind him? The man noticed them approaching him, he set the question what was happening, why were they running after him, he didn't dare to move or stop the bike. Momo was trying hard, because his plan was great. Momo was going to come and go as he, with a hope, or no, with a strong assurance that no one noticed him. When he entered, he was frightened by the cat who was illuminating him with the light, exclaiming the command to tell her, where did he go, because of so much terror, Husky even barked so weak, after he realized everything, he added, what are you doing, that was the first his question, he was out working hard on the case, and the cat frightened him the moment he got home, he called her a stupid cat, then he asked let him to tell her, that the man behind that matter was probably, and made a pause to gain so much interest to his speech, Suddenly, she decided to interrupt him, telling that the culprit was a very dude called Zole, the son of a rich man, and in order to make his way to a higher class friend circle, he kidnapped dogs, earned money from it, and used it to flatter other rich people. The dog was stubbed, he interested if she had already got to know it, and how come no one told him, that made him crazy. However, she made so flat face, explaining that she had meant to hold a meeting with him after their owners fell asleep. Several hour ago, the girl was laying in her bed, dreaming, and her friend the same, they were asleep, she offered him to meet up. The situation was that the cat shouted to Momo that he was a fool, asking where he was going, but Momo was running too fast, and she couldn't stop him. Then she was interfered with another boy, she asked what was that dumb dog going to do, she had told the dog to send her message around, she wanted to know if he did it, and the dog replied so obediently that he informed White and asked if the Labrador told the husky. Yeah, he said, but he forgot it, and the cat understood they had failed to get him back so they decided to have the discussions without him. For all the hard work Momo had done that evening, it was in vain, he was crying with the regret. Suddenly someone appeared as though from the hell, with the fire on the background, the dark silhouette asked if he didn't know it was midnight. All of a sudden, and the shout of the girl owner of Momo voiced over his name, the whole city heard that. The picture shows us the dog with an exciting expression of face just because he interested why didn't he, and kept the silence, but interrupted that with beeping. The computer got the ring, with the content that he had got two candidates for the shelter staff recruitment, please contact people for me. Momo, the voice called Husky behind his back. Momo didn't have any desire to look back who was there. He was thinking that he woke her up again, damn, she was going to beat him up, he was completely sure in it. 
the girl approached to the dog, whispering the apologizing to his ear. Come on, let's go to bed, she added she suggested. But Husky couldn't believe his ears, how that could be. That was some kind of magic. Sorry, she said, she had been too busy those days, she should have spent more time with Momo. She realized that and was upset. Momo had been loud at night because he was lonely and he wanted her to play with him. She interested. She promised she would spend more time with him and recommended to the little puppy to behave. Momo understood that silly women had mistaken it. They were ready to the sleep. She said it was time for dreaming. Then she offered to go out together. She wanted him to be with her. And Momo was thinking that she was surely mistaken it but he would still accept her love and care. The next day, the sun was shining so bright making a little pain to the eyes. They were sitting at the table, having some kind of conversation. The handsome man apologized that the two of the girls were frightened in the dog abattoir, and asked to let him make up for that. No worried, she added to Mr. Lee. She understood she should have asked him out for lunch. He thanked her. That day he invited the two of them because he wanted to talk about an issue with them. Besides, the cooperation they talked about, he would like to make another proposal. He would appreciate it if Ling could wear the clothes they sponsored during her live streaming to promote their brand. Ling would be our poster girl. Those were his words. What, me? The girl was too excited. Yes, he said, Ling, he directed. I can feel lots of positive energy around you, he explained. He saw her videos. She was quite popular in the live streaming industry. She was the perfect candidate for their business. A big brand was asking to work with her. It was happening. Dial it back, girl. She was talking with herself, and her girlfriend admitted that her face showed how excited she was. What was that ugly man up to? He needed to warn his silly owner of that man. She could be fooled. Momo understood. But she was only asked to promote a brand. She seemed also useful to him in that way. The dark night came and covered everything with so mysterious atmosphere. That was the place. The lab was beneath the mancio. They were going to sneak in. Two guardsmen were standing still, with so scaring faces. Sneak in how, Momo asked, they couldn't get in through the front gate. Wow, suddenly, out of nowhere, the bright light appeared. His eyes felt some kind of sharp pain. The light hurt. White, he directed to the companion. What are you doing? He interested. The plot get one more new person, the blonde hair man, who had so magical appearance. He said they would get through the front gate. Momo was so shocked, he asked, handsome man, who are you? When he went over, Bian Yen would open the door for him. Then they would catch that chance to sneak in, and the cat agreed, calling the white to be careful. Dr. Bien, the security addressed, white had come back, they told, he knew it would come back. The door was open, go, the cat exclaimed and they rushed there, then she commanded Momo to gog tight, she was going to use the instant moving magic, he might feel dizzy. They gained so much speed and were rushing so rapidly, they succeeded, the road was so good for the cat and the mouse, but not for Momo. He felt anxious and overwhelmed. Then he had a mess in his head, because their way took all his strengths. Now that we are in the house, it is more convenient to move around as a human, the girl told the speech. Both of them had transformed into human shape. When will he be able to do that? He set the question. Haim, he exclaimed. A strong smell of dogs was coming out from behind the door. The silhouette stopped amidst the door. Don't panic, Momo recommended to the dog. They were going to get out. The girl didn't have any clue what was happening. What? Momo asked. What was it? Did they get tricked? He wanted to know the answer by the girl. You finally came, the man, sitting in the chair, as though someone from the royal family. He finally got them. He said it was so much calmness, which everyone lacked there, except for him. It was because of you that his plan had failed. The crowd started crying. Then he started laughing what was making the guys more angrier than they were. Who do you think you are? The girl added and commanded him to tell his boss to come and see them. He was repeating the words, Who do you think you are? And his face was so concentrated on the girl, as though he was making the plan how to kill her without any evidence. He got so furious, like the real beast, he wanted her to know that he was the boss, he was who had planned the dog fight, he was going to teach her a lesson. Damn, Momo added, telling to the girl that he was the culprit. Why must she provoke him? He wanted to know the answer from her. What should we do now? How did he get to know our plan? Momo requested. Did White lit to us? Nailed it, the mouse said. Mr. Zo admitted that he was the planner. He just recorded it with that pen, he told. Suddenly, the crowd started looking into the sky with the open mouths. There was a girl, telling that they had the evidence, 
and they could finally take actions at that moment. What did you say you wanted to do to me? She interested and appeared on the top of the human's pyramid, standing on their backs. She called them losers. None of them were good according to her opinion. There was a bunch of people laying one on the other. Momo and the mouse were impressed by what she had performed there. That was so catching and never to be forgotten. She exclaimed not to just stand there and help the dogs out. They would leave soon. Momo bided the key, asking why was that lock so big. His teeth had some pain but he tried not to pay attention to it. Don't move, someone on the background added. Momo was afraid of moving, even breathing, he appeared to be a landmark. The doctor added that he finally caught him. Everything he was telling was provided by the laugh and the weird smile on his face. He grabbed the poor dog, who was asking to help him. Wow, the girl pronounced, she had a feeling that she was quite reliable. Perv, you are doomed, she gonna beat you up. Those were her words. Please go away. You are blocking the stray dog's way out, she asked him. He made a face as though didn't hear anything. Hey, Momo was screaming. What was going on? Help me out. Help me. He was praying. No need to struggle. She had made a deal with that creepy man, the mouth replied. Husky was so shocked. The mouse asked to let him rub the dog and he would switch to their side. They were afraid that Momo made a fuss about that so they didn't tell him. Those news made Momo so anxious, full of different thoughts when he wanted to say something about those people. He was shut up so fast. They were pushing him to nowhere. He even didn't know what to expect, if he would stay alive. Wasn't it enough, she interested. He had got the sample he wanted. At that moment she commanded him to put an end to it. All right. That day he was satisfied, then he laughed, and directed to Husky, promising that he would see him again. Momo was afraid of him. He had rubbed him and shot him with that needle. He didn't want to see him again. Suddenly, the ring, the task was finished, accounts settling, Momo shouted to the guys that he was going to take them to a new home, and a few days later they appeared to live there. What, the girl was so shocked, searching for the messages with news in her phone. The man Momo who had given her many virtual gifts during her live streaming had texted her that recently he had established a sanctuary for stray dogs and he would like him to promote it via live streaming, asking if she was interested. Mrs. Liu, the girl directed, Momo texted me, she exclaimed, and those words caused too many questions. Who, Momo, was able to use a cell phone? No, not their silly dog Momo. It was the man who gave her virtual gifts in her chat room. And Momo was stubbed. He was called silly. He wasn't silly. It was he who had been texting you, he exclaimed. Oh, I remember him. The rich man who gave you nay valuable virtual gifts. Right. What did he say? the friend of her requested. He asked her to promote a stray animal sanctuary during live streaming. That was a good thing. Public images are quite important. Yeah, she agreed with the words of her friend. She intended to say yes to him then, and wrote the message she would go to the sanctuary. He sent the answer that later the manager there would give her a call to talk about the detail. It was that place again. She did notice that place had been furnished. It turned out that was Momo's property. Momo had told the staff about the live streaming. They would start it right there. She made a decision not being too minded. They were at the stray animal sanctuary. That day she had brought Momo there and offered to visit that place together. Hello, she pronounced the only one word, and she interested that she must be Mrs. Lying. Nice to meet you, she added. Her name was Jiajia. She worked there. It's you, she exclaimed, looking right at the dog. Seriously, he asked himself, making so strange face expression. She could recognize him. He deliberately made that ugly face as it appeared to be. You know Momo, she asked the viewers. Well, how should she put it? It couldn't be possible, he exclaimed. Did she really recognize me? He couldn't believe that. Someone shinjayed the topic. Compared with the dog she previously saw, and stopped. Hi, I'm a voluntary vet, the girl introduced. Momo greeted her, finally. He was fed up with all that happening. What, the doctor, that crazy doctor, oh no, what would be there? What waits for him? Good dog, the boy admitted. He was so soft and nice, then he also interested him if he was right, and then asked if the dog moved. The dog was a little frightened and said, Hell, no, I don't dare to move, I'm scared. There was an exclamation in his voice. Hey, Momo exclaimed, Perv, my deeper behavior. I will be watching you, he promised. Don't worry, I'm not interested in them now, he added. Save it, dude, Momo was screaming with the addition if he thought he was one of them after he helped them save the dogs. No, he screamed, he didn't believe him at all. Momo, 
The girl owner was a little bit hesitated, telling that he was bothering the vet. She pulled the bell back and it hurt the dog. He even was on the brink of crying. He was shocked how he was able to bother him. He was watching him so that he wouldn't mess with the dogs. Sorry, let's keep it on, she said it to the audience. While Momo was struggling FOT life, how are the dogs, she asked. The dogs are healthy, the professor added. But they were startled. After some rest, they should be all right. And Momo pronounced into his inner world that he scared them. Mrs. Lee, he directed, because her dog seemed to like him a lot. Why didn't he also give it a body check? Momo didn't like that man at all. And the girl answered that sure, and even thanked him. Momo opened his mouth because of the surprise. He had the scary look and was staring right at the husky, who had been already frightened by all that happening around. He was moving back not avoid being experimented or just even touched by that crazy man. Suddenly, the system sent a message about the congratulations on finishing the mission of saving stray dogs. He was rewarded with 50,000 points ANS and extra lucky rune. Then Momo got angry and said that he was not a happy neat puppy anymore. The dog smelt the enemy. Then he tried not to give him way and asked was it Zole and his buddies. That couldn't be right. The mouses were watching them. Suddenly, something started to happen. Momo took the situation, asking what was that person doing there. Damn, the girl pronounced. It was Liang then told that Dr. Bien seldom contacted her lately. She knew he must sweetheart. She cheated on him. And to finish, she called him. A stupid man. And the dog was eavesdropping. She was there for that perv. That man was in trouble. He asked if he is beaten up. Who was it? Couldn't that person find a better time to call? She was hesitated. Hey, Li Juan, he said. He was busy looking for that lousy man and his new love. What's up? She asked and someone on the other side responded that the girl was in the live streaming camera, commanding to check out Li Ying's chat room. Camera, chat room, he asked. Then she decided to see what it was then she was so mad, she saw. What? The girl surprised. Old sweetheart. New. All of these phrases were the questions. That was quite complicated. Was there a misunderstanding or what? She exclaimed. He laughed a bit, and then as though commanded not to mistake it. The new sweetheart that Tian Tian referred to was the husky Momo. He was out for a business trip. So he didn't visit Baby Bear. She knew who she was. She was sweet Bobby Bear. She honestly told that she loved her live streaming. Her dog Baby Bear was also cute. And then she paused. Because the girl decided to keep on talking that she also loke her, then asked why she didn't get a joint live streaming chat room. Sure, she smiled, admitting the suitability of her words. Ring, a random task had just come, a new task at that point. Revealed the truth of Baby Bear's miserable death. Baby Bear, he exclaimed, miserable death, he interested. It was the hot summer, live streamer Tianchen's flat. There was the summer day joint live chatting room. Then she offered to welcome Li Ying and Momo. She got the comment that Li Ying looked so good in that summer outfit. She was surprised. There were so many clothes for dogs. The girl said that she could find all the sizes there. The question was why didn't she let Momo try them on? And the respond was, sure, that sounded great. Momo, dressed into the dragon's costume directed to her as a friend. He must be confused. He explained his supposition. When Momo was resisting the outfits, why she didn't sing her a song, Baby Bear will dance for us, she told it to everybody. She was plunged into the streaming, and didn't see almost anything. She would have Dr. Bien realized which of them was better, she or Li Ying. That was the exclamation. That was Baby Bear. It became popular because it usually danced for its owner. But the system said that Baby Bear already died, was it? And the pause, he kept the silence just because started overthinking everything around him. A ghost. He was screaming like a little girl who was so frightened. Bravo, Lee exclaimed, Baby Bear could really dance, and the girl sitting near her exclaimed that Baby Bear was a music master, it could tell a good song from a bad one, and addressed to Lee Ying with a question why didn't she sing. What, me? She surprised a bit, and she told that she knew she was a good singer. Perhaps Baby Bear will also dance for you, she as though promised. Okay, she was going to sing, she pulled her socks up and made up her mind to do that. Boo-hoo, the dog was crying. Making the real puppy eyes, he asked not to hurt him. Hey, he exclaimed, what was the matter with you? Momo interested. The puppy was crying. Downstairs at Tianchen's house, the girl said that Tian Tian looked a little scary. She asked was it her illusion. System. See if Tianchen's camera was off, Momo commanded, and the Sidoms gave the answer that Tianchen's camera had been turned off. 
system, he addressed, open Tianchen's live camera. He was quiet angry. Lu sure, she directed to her, talking on the phone. Liying, didn't you broadcast with Tian Tian that morning? Where Yum she asked with so furious face and intonation. And they agreed, that yes, it was over. She was outside then another girl exclaimed her to watch Tai Nation's live stream. Lu Shi sounded nervous, she realized, she decided to watch Tai Nation's live stream first. What was it? She was staring at the phone with so much emotions and interest. She got the stick into her hands and was shouting that he was a dumber than the last Bichon Frise. And in addition, she interested. Why should she raise him? And all the viewers were keeping a watchful eye on what she was doing. She threatened that she would kill him and get another one. There were so many little animals. Li Ying was stubbed. She didn't understand how could she do that. Momo, she exclaimed, because he just rushed aside. And as it appeared that he didn't think she hit it so hard. Hold on, little thing. An hour ago, Momo's words were, Sabotage your master's live stream and let her hit you. But the dog said, But, and it seemed that he wanted to add something. But no, he preferred to stop talking. Eat this and you won't feel any pain, that was his recommendation. It really didn't hurt, THR puppy said, but he was dizzy. There he came, little one, then he decided to perform the karate movements. Momo, wait for me, the girl exclaimed, being exhausted. Why did you come back, the girl asked, being so confused. See for yourself, she showed her the pictures from the live stream. What, she asked. No, she exclaimed, she already turned off the camera, and the comments started that she was so cruel. So she killed the previous Beckon. That kind of live streaming should be banned. She saw that and emphasized that she did something to the camera. You set me up, she shouted. I set you up, she interested. She didn't do anything. She was the one abusing her pet. She was taking baby B to the doctor and commanded out of her way. It was her pet. It was none of her business if she hit it to death. Baby bear, she questioned, being confused. Hold on, and taking you to the hospital, he exclaimed. Well done, she exclaimed, Momo, run, she commanded, stop, you must give me an explanation, she added. Downstairs, the girl was in the middle of the building, with a desire to know where was Momo. Give me my baby bear, she exclaimed. That was a part of her plan. She was a shameless pander, and added that she took Bian Yen and baby bear from me. The girl with Momo were sitting on the ground. The dog was too angry. She ran to the hospital because baby bear was so badly hurt. Momo didn't think that. Crazy woman, he exclaimed, tried to touch Li Ying again, he decided for sure. Don't worry, he said, and calmed her down that he would protect her. She sat on the ground, without any strengths, looking on what had been happening. Dr. Bien, Dr. Bien, the girls were shouting directing to him. Enough, Tian Tian, he admitted, he had known she killed a Bishan and got a new one. That was why she didn't come there again, and he commanded to get out of there. She said that he had already known that. He decided he would get her to the hospital. Why did this prevent here? He requested. He thought that was supposed to be his part. Director, he addressed. I want to report this man for taking his script. He promised to bite him to death. You are welcome, he said to the girl sitting in front of him. She directed. Dr. Brian, thank you. Momo exclaimed that he had done that. That prevent was a bottom fisher. No, no. He was crying, roughing. The owner tried to shut him up, commanding to be quiet. Sorry, it's a little noisy. She pretended to be nice. No, he contradicted. He was a pet doctor. He loved animals. He decided to keep pestering her until she showed him how she became human. He didn't mind being his master. Fuck you, Momo was screaming. Prevent. He didn't deserve it, as he said that. Momo, she was so angry at him. What are you doing? Dr. Brian, she addressed. Are you all right? Sorry. Momo didn't do this before, she said. It's okay. It's just a dog, he said. But Momo was laying on the ground without any ability to live his life. Dr. Bien, you are nice, she decided to make him a compliment. It sometimes makes a mess in the house and makes me angry, she exclaimed with the bright intonation. Look at him, he was good at acting, but she still believed he was a good man. He even showed his teeth to everyone because he wasn't able to keep on taking his reaction into himself. System admitted that he was anxious several times. But he said that was nonsense and he just hate that sick bastard. Then he asked the question if he could draw something that temporarily make him human. Yes, the system told there were human-shaped waistcoats. He could redeem the service time with points. But, and it stopped. However, Momo continued that he didn't want to hear any buts. He was going to use the lucky charm he wanted to draw. 
There the tips, not to be angry because of jealously. And Momo was stubbed. He asked if it was kidding. He just needed a human form to do his job better. He knew what the system was saying. And commanded to cut the crap. He wanted to draw. Instruction confirmed. Lucky charm use. There were a lot of gifts, for instance. Intelligent flight live streamer. Strengthening agent. Memory capsule. Underground paper talisman. City. Luxury hotel. So many story building. That was a hotel where pets could stay that was great. Hello, she approached to the reception place, and told that she was there to check in. Momo didn't know what to wait for, and what adventures were going to start. The girl, dressed into the so extraordinary clothes was standing in front of the dog. He thought he had seen that girl before, and wanted to clear everything in his head. Husky was roughing, she was the honker in the sixth episode. He realized that in a moment. What was her name? He tried to remember that. Well, he forgot. He understood that he needed a reminder. She thought she was right. The girl made this decision. She had read movies for years. According to her expression of face she realized something about that husky. For sure. Must be the one that had been on the screen. So, its owner was that honker, she interested. Wow, she cried, I know you. And the girl responded that she had been recognized. It was her. The dog's spirit was her. She was shocked. You are the Han Xiao. The game anchor, right? Im Liing, she introduced. She was there for the carnival too, and her companion didn't pronounce anything, but thought that she didn't expose her. Fancy meeting you here, shall we talk? She interested. At the hotel restaurant, they both were sitting at the table, sipping tea. One of the girls told that she hadn't heard from another one lately. It was time for her to admit who she was, dog spirit. She told she had have live stream every day. She was still acting, she asked. Oh, maybe I made a mistake, and thought inside that if she recognized her, why? And suddenly, her question disappeared. Suddenly, there appeared the waiter, directing to the ladies, pointing that there was the QR code for their restaurant was Lucky Draw, asking if they could scan it. Yeah, for sure the could beep. 